Okay, so let's do my first ever review on the channel. Now I have in my hand a nice little envelope sent by... Alright, how do I show this without showing all my address and shit? Look, the guy has his own little fancy envelopes. Aaron Miller. Hey, hey, Ron. So let's rip away in here and hope we don't rip the tokens in half. Now, this dude has... <laughs> I'm fucked if I fuck something up because I can only do this in one take. Um, the dude started a Kickstarter because he is a fancy... <laughs> it's like, I, what the fuck, I opened it on camera to like show it off, but I've got a nice little red envelope here and a nice little case and a germ token here, so that's what we've got there. But Aaron started a Kickstarter, he's, in background wise, he's an artist who does stuff for Star Wars, Magic the Gathering, he's done 26 artworks, Blood Soak Champion, Ajani, Caller of the Pride, the green white one with the tokens and the enchantments and crap, the, the one where he stole Elspeth's cloak. Uh, he did some Dungeons and Dragons stuff, he did some other stuff, he's done loads of artwork for fantasy stuff and he's tired of doing generic artwork for fantasy stuff and he's decided to make his own tokens. And he sent some to me for some reason. Guy's got problems. Jesus Christ. Alright, so the envelope's sturdy. <laughs> And then we have tokens. So we have that. That looks like it's just his like calling card, Aaron Miller tokens, with a Jani on it. And on the back is a squirrel. So you could use that for a squirrel token, but it doesn't really have anything on it. I think you just get that to cover the top. Then we've got a two-two cat token with a beautiful lion on it. I'm going to try and show them as best I can. Ooh, the camera focused on it, that's really good. And... I think it's signed, but I don't think it's signed, if you know what I mean. I think it's printed with a signature on it. Um, the back just says token, so if you don't have card sleeves, which is a very bad idea. Oh god, the camera bugged out for a second. But if you don't have card sleeves for whatever reason, the back of it's not going to freak you out if you accidentally shuffle it in your deck. Um, if, you do, if you do use sleeves, which you should, you just put it in that. It's a cat. You can put some dice on it. Show how many cats you have. We have a human. A beautiful little piratey human. Go on camera. Focus on that. Not me. That's good enough. So she's dressed up in a little pirate costume. That's a 1-1 one, one token. Actually, I'm not sure if this is signed onto the card or not. Because the signatures seem different for each one. Ever so slightly different. Oh, that focused quite well. Then we have a 4-4 four, four Angel token. She seems quite beautiful. Use her in your Angel decks, or if you just happen to have some Angels casually. Then we have a Warrior token with a Lizard and a guy with a torch fighting it. Uh, we have an Elemental who doesn't have power and toughness on him, because I'm assuming he's the kind of Elemental with the little stars where you fill it in yourself. I wouldn't recommend writing it in, just put a dice over it. It's a nice little deer. <laughs> then we have a knight where some guy's getting touched by a stranger, stranger danger. That's a 2-2, two -two. that comes out of your Selesnia charm. <laughs> I don't know why that's the only card I can think of right now that makes knights. We have a 5-5 five -five demon with a freaky little bat thing on it. That looks quite cool. Then we have our 1-1 one, one Monk that has prowess, but doesn't have prowess on it. Wait, who <laughs> Monastery Mentor, he's the guy that makes him. I was looking over there because that's where all my cards are, but that's not actually going to help me. We have a 1-1 one, one Spirit for your Lingering Souls. Oh god, that's creepy. And finally, we have a blank blank Vampire, which is a bit weird. What, what size tokens are Vampires normally? I think they're 2-2s, two aren't they? But there are, there are various vampires, actually, yeah. Because there's the one from... Two, from Sorens. One of the Sorens plus ones to make a 1-1 one, one with lifelink, and one of them minuses to make a 2-2 two, two with flying. So that's that's why your vampire doesn't have it. But, um... Jesus. They just feel like normal cards. Well, the Aaron Miller one feels the same, but I'm going to put that there. They shuffle like normal cards. Oh! Oh! We've got different colours on the backs. I didn't realise. That's cool. Um, sturdy. 
they bend and then they unbend. Let's see if we can... Wait, what angle do I want to do this to? Wait, is that actually unbended? Yeah, it seems good as new. But if we bend it so it touches and then unbend it. So they pass the, de the bend test. So they, they can take some wear and tear. Ideally, you'd put them in sleeves and you'd have them in the back of your box behind a divider. But they seem pretty good. And then moving on to our little case with a germ token. Now people are... Like, th this is what you'd use. Oh god, it feels squishy. How do the... Get out of there. Wait, how do we get this out of here? Do we just shake it? Nope. Oh, shaking, shaking it sort of worked. We got one end out. Yep, there we go. Let's, like, peel that out. Ah, oh, it squelched as I peeled it. Ugh. So this has survived shipping from the US to the UK. It's squishy. It folds. I was told not to fold it and then press this so it touches, because that, that would not be good. Um, it's got sort of... I don't know if you can make it out, but... It's got, like, little imperfections here, but you, like, touch them and they seem to come off. Like that. You see that? Probably not. But yeah, it seems like it's been cut out of something, and then the text of it has been printed on it, or in it. Something like that. It makes a weird noise when you, like, rub your finger against it. But I was told... <laughs> Look at it flopping around. I was told that this survives if you say get a dishcloth with warm water, soap, and then clean it if you grease it up for some reason. Because obviously you can't put it in a card sleeve, which is why you have your fancy little case and your envelope bits that are. Bye. The uh, I don't know which is the front and which is the back, but the text on it seems a little varied. Oh god, I, <laughs> I angle it and then the camera's got it reversed. But, like, here, nope, this, this side, there's like a bit that hasn't quite got a border on it. And in the middle, I don't know if you can make out, I don't know what's gone in the middle, but there's like a little circle in the middle. That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird. But this, your germ token, you'd use this with all your equipment. <laughs> I like how it flips and flops. Use it for your equipments like Battle School that summon up a germ token and then it's all squishy. It's got quite a firm texture to it. It just flops around. I think the main part about it is that you can see through it. You can see my hand through it. You can see the demon token through it. Barely. I don't know what the case is going to be, but it's got one of them joints to it. So you lift it and then it like... Yum, 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 yum. Chomps itself down. <laughs> There's a bit of the token that's like on top of the case from when they've closed it, I think. So does that mean like bits of it can... I, I think bits of it will maybe peel off? Like it seems pretty sturdy, but obviously it looks like it's just a chunk cut out of something. So if you say, did have somebody claw at it with like a knife or a fork or some shit, it would maybe pierce, because it's nice and smooth. But if you hit it with something, or you're like clunked it against something, I think a chunk of it would come out, and then you would just have a chunk out of it. Oh god, there's another circle there. Are those like air bubbles? I don't know what that is. That's so weird. But yeah, it survived shipping from the US to the UK, and it's still in pretty much the good nick that you'd expect it to be in. God, I can't get it back in the case. It's too squishy and squelchy. You in there? Nope. So if you like the look of those tokens, the guy has his own little Kickstarter page. There are about 50 different reward milestones is a better word for it, that you can go through, but I think the best one looks like the $35 one? Yeah, $35 and you get a signed collector pack and an ooze tokens. You get a 54 tokens uh, signed in gold. So like 54 of these, but they'll all be different ones. And then you get an ooze as well. So for $35, 54 tokens plus an ooze, that's 55. So it's just over 50 cents a thing, but then I don't know whether I'd include your shipping or not. 
But that, that looks like it's the best value on, and then if you have like $500 or 1000 or something, you can actually get the pledge where you commission something specifically of your own that you ask for him. Um, my germ token doesn't look too different from the one on the website. The, the one on the website, I'm going to have it like overlaid in the video so you can see it compared to this next to it. But the one on the website looks like the Nought Nought Power and Toughness thing is a bit more pronounced. But other than that, they're pretty much the same. All oozy and squishy, aren't you? You little oozy squish ball. I think it really just comes down to whether you have the spare money to pimp out your tokens, or if you use tokens in your deck if you just want to make them look fancier, because the, the guy's like a proper artist and everything. Um, so if you have like the spare money and you fancy upgrading, then that could be a thing, but I think the guy he has who cuts them, uh, if you see... Oh god, I can't figure out how to hold it. But the borders look ever so slightly differently cut. This one especially, this little orange one. Ah, uh, focus, focus. You see how the top band and one of the side bands is really small? And you compare that to like one of the others. But it's not like the back of the card's cut borders really make a difference. Oh, it's actually more pronounced on the front. You see how the this side border is thinner than this side? So if that's something that weirds you out, you might want to be concerned about that. You could just ask him, maybe this is like his first print run and these are the offsets and he sent them to me f to me for your re a review. But... I still can't figure out whether the signatures are actually signed onto the cards. Like, <laughs> if, if I'd made them, I would have just included the signature on the thing and then print them rather than sign everything, because that seems like a ball like to sign everything. Yeah, the tokens definitely seem fairly well made, there's no like glaring horrible flaws to them, they're sturdy, they're cut decently, like <laughs> at least the black borders are all in the black borders, it's not like they're absolutely wrecked, so the production quality is like 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10. The shipping it got here within a week or two, and that's from the US to the UK, so that's pretty good. It's not like you're in a desperate rush to get tokens anyway. Looking at the use thing. Little ooze, little plastic case, that's quite nice. I think that's like the highlight of all of it. Because you use this, you slide a little battle skull under it. Under it. Oh yeah, people had concerns that uh, it was actually like slimy and uh, you'd actually feel it and it'd like rub off and you'd get all greasy fingers and stuff. But that's not how it is. <laughs> You'd have to actually fish that out every time. I don't know whether... Because I, I don't have the best... Fishing abilities. <laughs> Get out of it, you bitch. <laughs> it, like, flops out for a second and I can't catch it. Alright, there we go. But yeah, it's... It's smooth, but nothing, like, slimy comes off. It's just the corners, say, where it's been cut out. They, they seem to be a little bit... Off. Got a nice texture to it. It's waterproof. I think I managed to stick something to it already. A bit of my jumper that's come off. You'd you'd always want to play these on a playmat. You start playing this on random tables in random coffee shops, random F and M tables. I love how it flibble flobbles. But if you start doing that, then uh, then then you'll end up fucked because it'll pick up all the grime and dirt. You can wash it off, but then you spend all your time washing your tokens. Okay, so just to add, they all fit perfectly into just your generic ultra pro size sleeves, and if you say you use Legion or KMCs or whatever, they'll be the same size. These are just the Chandra ones, because I had them spare on my desk from trading. Um, they don't fit into perfect size sleeves, like this is in one, but if you notice, it's got a slight bend to it. Sure, you can bend it the other way, but then that's still not very happy. And if we look very closely, you can see that it's at its limit in this bottom here, but it also ever so slightly, barely touches outside of the sleeve here. So Perfect Fits, this is just a generic KMC one, and the size of Perfect Fits, like you can see I'm having to pull quite a bit to get that out of the Perfect Fit sleeve. Generic White Ultra Pro, just slides right in. Slight resistance because they're a bit bigger than normal magic cards, but there's space all around, the space at the top, at the bottom, at the sides. 
get the cat out of there. KMC hyper mats, they fit very snugly in there. There's even enough to squeeze it and open the top. That's because these are expected to be double sleeved into. So KMCs are quite a snug fit, but it's not like it... If we push it out a little so you can see it stick out top, it's not like it falls out of... Overall, I think the tokens, pretty good. You can't go wrong for the equivalent of 50p each. Uh, they look good. You're, you're mostly paying for the guy having spent his entire life drawing cats and then signing them. Um, tokens themselves, they're pretty sturdy. They don't feel like they'll fall apart at any point. They seem well made. I do have concerns about the cutting. Some of the borders seem thinner or wider than the others. That would bother some people, it doesn't necessarily bother me. Um, there's no inherent damage from the shipping. They're nightly, they're nicely uh, snug and tight in here. So they end up in this nice little paper, papery, cardboardy mix. Jesus. <laughs> And that's got his name and his illustrator and his little address on that, so go egg his house, go rob him. <laughs> I don't know whether I should blur that out or not, actually. Well, I, I mean, it's all over his Kickstarter page, it'll, it'll probably be fine. Uh, they get shipped in this, which is a nice happy little bubble mailer. So there's some bubble wrap to keep it all happy. Your germ comes in its little solid case, that seems pretty hardcore. Fuck, <laughs> that actually hurt. Um, it's fairly well made, but there are slight concerns about, say, that corner uh, where the black border seems to have like a hole in it and then the power and the toughness which seems a little bit faded, sort of? Like they haven't, like the machine has ran out of ink as it's tried to do that. Um, I mean, I can't complain because I didn't pay for them, but if you did, it might be concerning that the borders are a bit cut and it might be concerning that the germ token might have some like splotches or splooches, but that might just add to the effect for you. Overall, if you have the spare money to have fancy tokens, they, they, they don't cost that much more than normal tokens if you were going to order, say, a 2-2 cat token from Star City Games or Channel Fireball or TCG Player or Magic Card Market or wherever you buy it from, you'd end up paying around 50 cents for a cat token anyway, so you can have one with fancier artwork. I don't know whether you're allowed to customise your orders because it says you get 52 tokens or so, but you don't know whether it's one of each token he's made, or if you do play, say, a Storm deck and use Empty the Warrens, you might just want 52 Goblin tokens that look like this, and then you put them down, and you're like, these are fancy, and they're signed, and they're signed by a proper magic artist and all that, and then you get the good feeling inside where it's like, oh, I'm supporting the community of a dude that does artwork, and he's pretty talented. I think this is the point where me not actually having a grading scheme in my mind isn't going to help me here. I'm just going to do it from 1 to 10, because rating stuff out of 10 is just like how the world works. Um, I think having the guy's name on the back is fine, but his little website, uh, I think that kind of bothers me. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the advertising stuff, but it's not on the front. That's a start. Yeah. It, it, yeah. On, on the front, it just has the name of the token, the artwork, power and toughness, his signature, and then in that bottom corner, I don't think it's going to focus quite well enough. But that says copyright Aaron Miller token number and then the number of the token which varies from 1 to 52 for your token pack. And then the germ doesn't have anything on it at all, just Aaron Miller, the case doesn't have anything on it at all. There are slight concerns with the botchy borders, slight concerns with cutting of the tokens where some uh, cuts are a bit more than others. So it might end up we have a bit more of a black border one side and a bit less on the other. But that's very minor stuff, the artwork's cool, none of the artwork seems especially bad. Tokens are solid, the germ token's solid, there's a bit of like a Brady stuff from, because of the material it's from, I think they cut it and then print onto it, so there's some leftover like residue from where they've cut it and it might not have cut perfectly clean, but the token's nice and square, there's no damage to it, the shipping was fine, the shipping container was fine, the way it was packaged was fine, so overall I'm going to give it, what, 8, 8.5 out of 10? There's a couple of minor concerns, but other than that, they seem fine, they seem good, if you've got the spare money for it and you like supporting a magic artist, D&D artists, go for it. 